All right, so I'm giving a presentation on how to give presentations. Um, it doesn't, when we're giving demos, um, that's, that's a great presentation. Anytime you're showing off something that's, that's live and running, that's always gonna be cool. But you, you're gonna have times where, you know, in my job I have to give like three, four PowerPoint presentations a year. And there's times where you work with team members and you have to give PowerPoint presentations. And I was just kind of th thrown into it. Um, and sometimes if you have a startup, you have to like give pitch presentations. So I want to give this as, as my research in the past couple weekends on what best practices are for presentations. So that's what we're gonna, that's what I'm gonna do today. Okay. So imagine you're, you are a marketing director for a company and you go to your CEO and you say, uh, we emailed 12 million people last month. CEO would be like, great, 12 million new leads. I'm really excited, I don't know how we're gonna handle it. But you say, no, no, all I did was just email 12 million people. And the CEO might say to you, well, how many of those people responded? And then you might say, none. <laughs> and if you did that, it should be clear that you're not really a marketing expert, you're just a spammer. And so when we design PowerPoint pres presentations, uh, we have a ton of tools at our disposal. Microsoft gives us all these tools. They get slides and bullet points and little charts. And we send it out to our audience, just like 12 million bits of information. Uh, but how many people were engaged with and retained uh, the information that we sent out? And so a good metric to detect spam is its microscopic engagement rate. And I want to make the case that the average PowerPoint presentation is spam. This is just nothing but spam to the audience. The features of PowerPoint, slides, bullet points, simplistic charts, uh, allow, allow us to create shallow and unengaging factoid spam. And if you use these features, 90% of the information that you've presented has been forgotten within 30 seconds of moving to the next slide. Because our brains are awesome spam filters and they're working as intended. So our goal is to present information that's rich and unforgettable. We can't be spam. Uh, so in the next couple of minutes, I'm going to arm you with the tips you need to give better presentations. People are going to remember what you say. The world will be a better place. So first, you are the center of attention. Your slides are simply a visual aid. <laughs> so what does this mean for us? It means you should never have any standalone text or bullet points on your slides. Instead of text on a screen, all the words should be in your script and come out of your mouth. Uh, you have to write a script. You can look at your notes, you can riff off of things, replace some words and tell little stories here and there, but you have to have a script that you're starting from. You have to write it, you have to practice it, and you have to time yourself delivering it so that you know you're, you're going to hit it within the time frame. And this is my view right now. Uh, I actually see the script. PowerPoint gives you all these features, and the really only useful feature I really want is just to see my script so that I can read off of it. I'm not glancing at my slides and reading off it. I'm glancing, I'm right here at my screen, and that's how I deliver it. Uh, PowerPoint just makes it too easy for us to be the Nigerian princes of PowerPoint spam. Uh, instead, we should, make, uh, we, sh we should take care and, and make our presentations like playwrights, uh, thinking of a script, of an actor, or of a scene. And remember, just like an actor, the spotlight is on you. Uh, we have to use dark mode uh, for visual aids whenever possible. A blinding white projection next to you, unless you're giving a demo, uh, a blinding white projection of just bullet points is just a glaring distraction. So I want to contrast uh, a video, I, uh, a presentation I gave uh, for my work, uh, work, CHSI Technologies. I did this last year at this time. We host something called a user workshop. And I want to contrast that with Steve Jobs' introduction of the iPhone, considered the greatest presentation of all time. Uh, so you can see I'm doing everything wrong. I've got bullet points. Uh, I'm reading right off the slide directly. I'm turned away from the audience. Uh, and, and there's this glaring white rectangle that's taking up you know, everyone's attention. And you're contrasting that with Steve Jobs, who's facing the audience. He's speaking from a well-rehearsed script. Um, he's showing an image, not text, on a screen. And uh, it's all in just dark mode, and it feels really good. So I'm at the end of my presentation. How can I sum up everything I've just talked about without bullet points on my slides? Well, let's do it like this, a little more engaging. Uh, raise your hand. And show me with your fingers, how many bullet points should you have per slide? Zero, that's right. Uh, remember, you, the presenter, are the focal point. Your slides are just a visual aid. And you have to practice your script. 
and you'll stop PowerPoint slant, uh, spam and deliver better presentations. So if you're interested in learning more on this topic or where I source my information, I actually have a handout for your reading pleasure. Thank you for your time. <laughs>